ETJ Music here, back with another installment of Woodland Tower. I have gone ahead and thrown in some horns. I'm trying to finish the song, making sure it has a really good ending and making sure that it flows well from the bridge. I'm not super satisfied with what I've got, so it's time to tinker. The trumpet part was originally this part that's in the horns, which is this part by itself. Sounds like this. And it just, I don't know, didn't sound good in the trumpet, so I've taken the horn part and the trumpet part, switched them, and now we have the trumpet, and I'm just gonna play the trumpet and the trombone together and see if I like this. It's doubled, not quite at the octave, it's a little bit further than that. You know, I'm liking that a lot better than having the horn, so I'm just gonna cut this horn part out. Okay, I'm just taking the second voice out. I don't know why the second voice is in there, but it's gone now. So I have all these more Kato sections, and I'm gonna see, now that I've taken out the horn, if it sounds better. I always think I should add horn because when I listen to jazz music, I'm like, oh, the horns, but horn is just a colloquial word for any kind of wind instrument. So a trumpet can be a horn, and a horn can be a horn, and a flute can be a horn, if you're in jazz. Take out the marcato. Off. It's a nice thing, it lets me do it all at once. Let's see how it sounds without that marcato. Okay, now I'm gonna change these eighth notes to be quarter notes because I'm not sure if I like how short that is. It's gonna sound nice by itself, but it's the playing it in context with everything else that I have questions about. Let me just make them dotted eighth notes. That'll make it just that little bit longer. All right, let's try that. Come back just a little. You know what, let me try it on here too. I'm just trying to get that little bit of length. Let's try that. Of course, I still have to hear how it sounds with context, but... if I make these actually audible. Okay, let's make this forte. Oopsies, that didn't work. There we go. Let's try that again. So, I'm not sure about this part, but this part is definitely too long, so taking out the dot. Now let's put it together again. Okay, that's working, and I'm actually okay with this being loud. So this could be fortissimo. Let's backtrack it one more time, see how the volume is. Excellent. So I actually really like that. I'm gonna get rid of the horns. I really just don't feel like the horns are gonna be good. So they're gone. And we're just gonna leave the trumpets here. I'm gonna take the marcato off because again, I'm not feeling like I need it. 
It feels too short. It was just the horns that were feeling too long. So once I've gotten rid of the horns, then it's fine. <laughs> Okay, that's so much better. I just needed trumpets. I did not need horn. Convinced myself I needed horn for some reason. Okay, one of these chords didn't work. Let's hear it. That right there. Get rid of that. Three notes here for trumpet. I need to get rid of one of them. Let me just get rid of the middle note and see if it sounds okay. Actually, you know, that's yeah. Yeah, for some reason I have these middle notes in here that I do not need. I know that I'm playing them in other instruments, so get rid of these. Okay. This ending is a mess. This is what I have. Well, that last little part's okay, but the rest of it is just like, what am I doing? I need to just repeat this. Da 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 da. Da 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 so we'll get rid of the Malto de Tadendo. I'm gonna change this back into 4-4. Four, four. Then delete that. Then yeah, let's just throw this as a end repeat. Oop, that made it a start repeat. I need it to be an end repeat. End repeat. Repeat from here. Let's see what happens if I do that. Okay, so now I have just repeated this short little section. Let's take it from the beginning of the chorus again. to do. I need a first and second ending. This still isn't right. There's something wrong here. We're just going to add a measure here. All right. I fixed the ending. It needed me to just take out the junk that I had, readjust the measures so that I had a first and second ending, and then go ahead and fiddle with some of my notes so that the chord actually ends in a D minor chord instead of a B major chord. So here it is. We'll kick it back a bit to where the chorus comes in for the last time. There may be some adjustments and tweaks that I do to the rest of this song, but I think that I've got it now from beginning to end. So that is Woodland Tower, and keep your eyes peeled. I'll try to put the finished work as its own separate piece on the channel sometime soon. But until then, thank you for coming along with me on this composing whirlwind. Next time we'll be digging into some old pieces, discovering some hidden gems, and polishing them up. Until then, EDJ out.